So the Henry Pump Action 22, let's check it out. Now Henry is well known for its lever action rifles. They make the best lever action rifles in the world in my opinion. I mean they're just excellent high quality uh, made right here in the USA. Everything uh, even down to the wood is harvested right in the states and it's just beautiful. I mean the fit and the finish always really nice. But one of the things that has been a favorite of mine is a little pump 22. And years ago, about 20 years ago, I had a little Rossi Model 62 carbine really handy little rifle sold it wish I hadn't when I realized that Henry was offering a pump 22 it was a must-have uh, but there's a lot of cool things about this rifle that exceed way above the original Rossi and even the Winchester Now, one thing you can say about Henry is that it just looks American uh, the quality the finish uh, the wood I mean it's such a traditional firearm and yet it's still applicable for today's shooting of course, first thing we're going to do is make sure the gun is unloaded. We're going to open it up, and it is. The wood on this rifle is just superb. American walnut, and it's, the grain in it is beautiful. Uh, a little bit of some grooves right here, but no check, checkering, and a really straight stock. So it just really has that classic look, the gallery gun. And man, I'll tell you what, this is a lot of fun. The octagon barrel, which, you know, this was the original heavy barrel. I mean, they put these octagon barrels on there uh, to really dissipate heat. And it gives a lot of surface, and yet it just really has that nostalgic look to it, uh, you know, like my grandpa would have. And, but yet, again, it, all the modern processes, I mean, the bluing on this thing is just beautiful. The tubular fed magazine right up under the barrel and then it just unlocks and reveals a beautiful brass rod and just really super slick and smooth at the end we have a little orange blaze orange just to let you know that's where the end goes in uh, but the lubricity on this is really smooth and it just locks nicely into place here we have the semi buckhorn sights and you have this white diamond that this plate actually comes out and it'll black out but it really mates well with this front bead post, this brass. And the sight is fully adjustable with this ramp, so you can get your elevation. And here on the front sight, it's actually dovetailed in so you can move it over for windage. And because the front sight's dovetailed, you can actually replace it. Now the receiver has one of the 3 8 inch little uh, 20 rimfire rails right here, so you can put your smaller 3 8 inch scope rings on here and attach a scope to it. But really, even without a scope and just the sights, this gun is really accurate. Okay, here's the first group, 25 yards. Second group, third group. I was really starting to hone in, getting used to hitting that pump. So that just shows you a little bit of the accuracy. Obviously, out at distance, you're gonna it's gonna spread maybe, but I think that's a pretty tight flipping group, and I think I'm gonna stop there. <laughs> Using easy to see target CCI mini mags. Now the receiver has a really nice satin finish to it, but you'll notice that it's a little different than the bluing on the barrel. Uh, the receiver itself is a zinc alloy, and that allows for a little bit less weight, uh, but it does house all steel parts. And that's just one of the things here. It's just kind of a baked on finish, but it's done very well. It does have a plastic butt plate with two screws. There is checkering all along, and then you have the Henry logo. 
Now, as far as the pump action goes, um, Henry is known because of the of their lever actions to be just super buttery smooth. Uh, one of the things about this pump, it's a little bit takes a little bit more force to pull that back, and uh, of course the hammer will be down because you'll fire the shot and then you'll pull it back. Uh, once you get used to it, it really starts to cycle easily. This is the action bar right here that's connected with the pump. It's a single action bar, not double. Now if you have a round loaded in the chamber and you want to release it, all you have to do is to press this lever right here in front of the trigger guard and then just pull the, uh, just rack it back and this will eject the round. Of course, if you leave the tube loaded, it's going to insert a round. So the easy way to do that is just to open up your tube, let the rounds come out the front here and they'll just pour out in your hand. So it makes it really easy to unload. And right here is your loading gate. Uh, it'll hold 15 rounds. Actually, I got 16 in here and was still able to put the uh, tube back in. But it's really fast to reload. It is what they call the short stroke. It only comes back about an inch and five eighths and it comes forward. The hammer has nice texturing so when you bring the hammer back, it's really positive. It's not going to slip off your finger. And it really sounds nice. Two clicks. Uh, you don't want to dry fire this much because it is a rim fire. We are going to dry fire it a little bit just to kind of give you a feel for the trigger. It's really nice trigger. Very nice little snap. There's not a lot of over travel. There's not a lot of pre travel. It just clicks when you want it to. Now the pump design is very familiar with American shooters considering that the Remington 870 shotgun is one of the most popular 12 gauge shotguns in the country. As far as rifle versions go, 22 pump is probably one of my favorites uh, with the original Winchester then with some of the others made by Rossi uh, and then of course the Henry. Now the pump action is fast it's easy to load and unload just like this short stroke and as you've noticed the bolt comes back really this is very reminiscent of the lever action it's just that the action is here instead of down here uh, so you can get a nice solid grip bring it forward and fire. The hammer comes back Really nice, you hear the double clicks, and then a really crisp snap. Uh, this is single action, and so you're gonna get a really, I mean, it's really crisp, and I think that also adds to the accuracy. Now, one of the things about this is there's no external safety, and so you do have a hammer transfer bar here in case the uh, hammer gets hit, but one of the things you can do is bring it back, and then when you go to do a half cock there. Uh, without it cocked all the way, it's not gonna half cock. And then you can hear the click and you have it in half cock. That way you can just bring it back, fire it when you're ready to go. Here the tubular magazine comes out really fast. It is a brass tube and it's, the brass really has a little bit of lubricity to it as well. So it's gonna keep from galling. It's gonna make it really nice. Right here marked on the barrel, calibers 22, short, long, and long rifle. So shorts and longs will fit in here with no problem. I believe the shorts, you can fit up to 21 rounds in here. Uh, shorts are right now are fairly hard to come by, and uh, I would like to have done some testing with them, but I just didn't have any. Uh, but all the long rifles that I use, those things just function fantastically. On the other side, Henry Repeating Arms, Bayonne, New Jersey, made in the USA. They do make a number of different models in Rice Lake, Wisconsin. I'm going to be shooting some CCIs today, and I want to thank Federal Premium for sending the CCI mini mags. Great stuff. The retail price for the Henry 22 pump uh, is $550. For the Magnum model, it's $590. But most of your gun shops, you're seeing it for about the four and a quarter to 450 range. So really for the quality and the features made in the USA, all fitted the way it is with the beautiful American walnut stock, that is a great price. And it's one of those things that you can hand down to your children. Plus with these rifles, you can take your children out and teach them how to shoot. It's a really an heirloom piece. Uh, I own a number of Henrys, all the way from 4570 down to the 22, and uh, I've never been disappointed. Henry just makes really good quality products. One of the best things that I like, though, about Henry is Anthony Imperato, who is the owner of Henry, says that it's either made in America or not made at all. 
and I love his stand. So the Henry Pump 22 Rimfire, thumbs way up. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. Feels like, oops, crap. They're just selling off the shelves like, you know, crazy. Now the Henry Pump, pump uh, you can usually get this. Howdy, partner. How to do, ma'am? Nice fine day. Somebody get the sheriff, we need a posse. Somebody poison the water hole. I feel like I'm on gun smoke. How about cigar smoke?